and welcome to Summer Sparking Good Time. Today's uh, video is Batman Painting Summer School Lesson 8 Electives. Now, um, if you watched uh, in uh, shop class, you would know that the first, the first uh, accessory tool, whatever you want to call it, that I said absolutely not, I cannot hang starting from what was given to me in the kit was a tray. It wasn't it. It made me all kinds of cranky. It, it was just bad. So we're going to go over electives. I forgot to put these two in here. I forgot to put these two in here. Okay. So basically, these are very, are pretty much your most standard. You're going to find in a budget kit um, trays or boats, whatever you like to call them. And these are super, super common. They come in different colors. These are the, the, these do work, but these are not a good time. There's no spout. The walls are slanted, which makes it easier for the diamonds to come out. Um, the walls are very, very short, um, which makes it easier for things to come out. Uh, there's, they don't line up the same way you would ex you want your drills to, but they, they will work. Now, there is this other variation of that same type of boat. Same shape, except they have added pegs and holes so they can actually fit together if you're wanting to do confetti work. And there's that. Then, like, the next level up is these not masa trays. These are almost bent. They always feel like they're there's a slight curvature to them, either that way or that way. Um, there is a spout, but they're not designed well. And, I mean, even if you look at these boats, if you're looking at the ridges, the ridges are kind of in alignment with the spout. That's good. These, I'm not sure if you can tell, the ridges go straight across. So all up here gets weird. This is a diamond dots tray. This is, I don't know. I can't remember. I'm not really liking those. But those are your basic generic trays. Then you have your Mopsa boats. These, for me, tend to always be curved even more. I don't know if you can, let me see if I can put them back to back. I'm going to sh show you that both both these do say Mopsa on them. I'm, these are not a generic Mopsa and a regular Mopsa. Okay, so here we go. Now that I have them lined up, do you see that there's a curvature to them? Me, no, lucky. Okay, so they don't sit flat. You see them bounce? But they do have the better curvature up here. They do have spouts. The, the sidewalls are straight and not slanted, but they're still really small. So they're, 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 that's that. This is a craftably, I believe. And I'm not sure who that came with. Um, I'm double checking. This might be a diamond painting shop. Okay, so there's those. Then, if you are ordering like um, accessory like toolkits, such as like um, the suitcases for uh, I call them the suitcases. The cases that zipper up with the for the diamond painting drill storage, they will often come with like little sets of toolkits in them, and you're going to end up with something similar to one of these, like this one. I don't like that either one of these are straight across. Once again, I like them better when they have a little roundy thing here. That's just personal preference, but it's not a deal breaker. This one has a trap door, so it gives you a spout and a stopper. Okay, this one just has the spout with no stopper. Easily can put your hand on it, whatnot. But these are going to get with like your Amazon or Timu um, drill storage. They're just come as bonus. Okay, moving on. If you go to Amazon, you can order sets of these. There's drills in that. <laughs> so these actually are two trays per heart. The lid and the bottom are trays. This one with the short side, this one with the taller side. But once again, it's straight across here. 
uh, <clears throat> I ordered these when I first started diamond painting and didn't know better. Um, I would not recommend these for diamond painting. I actually use these for trash storage. Okay. Now, these are two of the Diamond Art Club standard trays. These are not bad. They're not great, but they're not bad. Um, this one, a lot of people find it hard to use with it being uh, see-through. Um, they prefer the whites. So they can actually see what color drill is in there, and it's a preference thing. But these are being cycled out. These are what you'll be seeing. Um, and these are Diamond Art Club's um, trays. Not mad at them, but don't love it. This is a Dreamer Design Stray. Dreamer, Dreamer Design Strays are branded. They're bigger. And they have moved to this new thing. It's not, it's like a drawbridge type thing. Like you have to pull the thing out like that and then shove it back in. I'm not a fan of that. And they also do give you this little handy dandy thing that you can do uh, more than one color at the same time. Um, I, I'm, I'm not a fan. I've never used it, but it's there. Okay. Oops, now I'm throwing things. Let me get all this out of my way because it's about to be an avalanche. There's almost an avalanche, I tell you, an avalanche. Nobody's got time for an avalanche today. Okay. I'm going to roll up. So now, I... My first actual premium 3D printed tray is this one. This is from Nix's Notions. It's what they call the tall boy. I knew from trying to deal with the generic trays that I really wanted the taller side, but I wasn't sure I was going to like all this. So I went and I could, at the time, I could order from this company without being on a waiting list or getting cart snatched or fighting for my life. And I got this one and I actually love it. In proportion to my hand, it's, it's relatively really good sized. There's no direction for me to try to hold on to it that isn't comfortable with my hand size. Okay? There's that. And I bought that and I use it. Well then, I don't know which one of these happened first. We'll just go with this because it's here. So then, I finally was able to order a kit um, this, from MuniMade, a dump pin kit, and get this tray. Uh, this is her small and if you look, it is relatively the same size as the uh, tall boy, but the walls are not nearly as tall. So, I thought I was going to love this, and then it turns out that that little bit of difference on the wall height is important to me. Now, this is Mini Maid's large trays. I don't know if you can see, but this one is the width, or closer to the width, or the, the height I like. See, even this one isn't exactly the height I want. This one's still a little taller. But, this is closer. So, I have these. Now, I'm not saying I dislike these. I'm not saying I love these. I'm letting you know I have these. And these give you almost maximum space or where the drills fall. Okay? Now mind you, I bought this one as my first premium 3D printed. Then I ordered these and I was still using this one. So I was like, okay, well maybe I'm just not a Muni Made girl. You know, it, it could be like that. And I'm not saying I'm not a Muni Made girl as in I don't like her products. I do use these from time to time, but they're not my what I reach for first. So then Black Friday came around. And Bella Art Dana Cole was having a sale. And they had a big sale where like you could get a whole set of trays. I don't even know what all was in there. For a, one flat fee. And you chose your color scheme. So I had chose pink because pink's my favorite color. And this actually came with another one identical in size. And then another one that was the same color as this. So I had two that were like this. And then I had one that these fit perfectly lined up 
boop boop on it. Um, I don't remember what that's called. I'll try to look it up and put it below or put something here. Um, so that, but my kids have stolen the other two of those. It came with the essentials tray. It came with the max tray. And it came with this one, which I really like the lid on this one as opposed to the other ones. This one goes on the outside. The other ones go like inside. Um, they're stoppers for a uh, different. They slide in instead of have to be popped in. So like it keeps it in even if yeah. So there's that. Um, and I bought these. And I was still reaching for that one. So at that point in time, I said, I am not going to throw money at any more uh, tray places because I keep spending all this money and keep going back to this one. So why, and I could have gotten, for the price I paid for this set, I could have probably gotten six or seven of these. But, I will say this. This is my favorite travel tray. Like, if I just need one quick to go in with me, and I know it's going to be tight space, I grab the Bella Art Danico Essentials tray. I know this one's the Essentials because um, I just looked it up. This bad boy, $6. Love him. Um, he's super easy to fit in stuff, and he travels well. There's no stopper to lose. There's no lid to lose. I love the way the drills line up. Good travel tray. And this, this bad boy, he is almost constantly out at my diamond painting table because he is what I put, whatever drill in the kit is predominant on my barge kits. So, like, if I'm doing a handle in, all the 310 is going to be in here. And I don't have to constantly be switching out 310 and the other colors here. I just have my 310 here, and I keep pulling it back on Steampunk Prowess, it wasn't uh, 310, it was like that, what, 37 something, I don't remember. One of the dark browns lived in this tray. And so, whatever, like, um, I just unboxed the, we can do it, with the, I think it's like 3865, 3685, something like that. Whatever, whatever color that was, that is the entire background. Um, it's right here, let's look. 3865. So, 3865, when I do, we can do it, will live in this Max Bell Art and Cold Tray. Because I don't have to constantly be moving, 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 moving. Um, because there's so much of that. So, whatever my kit has, like, if it has a like, color that there's like a considerable amount more than anything other, it's going to go in this tray. If I get to a point that I have more than one color that's just like in every section, I know I pull out these three bad boys to have um, like my biggest main color and then like the two other supporting colors there and then pull out my confetti or small color blocking stuff and in and out of this one. So I have finally... After probably four or five months, relented and bought. Okay, so these right here, these these three are my go-tos right now. These are on my table the most. But after, oh gosh, I my last my last tray purchase was. This one from Minuade, along with another pale lavender of the same size that came with the uh, Deity of the Forgotten. Deity of the Forgotten. Deity? Deity? However you want to say that. Of the Forgotten. Um, I got that. It's like a pale lavender uh, tray of this size. Because uh, I got the premium kit. And then I did this as an add-on. That was my last tray purchase. And I didn't get it the first wave. I got it the second wave. So I think it was this year. But that was my last tray purchase until... Uh, last week. Last week. Um, now, I've heard about the cat-proof trays. The um, I don't, 
there's a ton. If you go on Etsy and type in Diamond Paint Trace, you're going to go down a rabbit hole of epic proportions. We're talking epic proportions. If you're watching any kind of YouTube Diamond Painting content creator, you're going to see tons. Well, so I've been on basically a no tray buying thing because I knew, I knew that I kept coming back to these three. And so I was like, what are you doing with all of this? If this is where you keep coming back, why are you throwing them anyway? Those could have been diamond painting kits, was my thought. Now, you might be one of those people who want every color of the rainbow of each kind of tray you love. I figured out real fast, real fast, that I am not about that life. I would rather spend my money elsewhere. But if that is you, have fun. This is your hobby. This is what you love. Do what makes you happy. So long as you are not hurting yourself or your family financially by doing so. I would like that caveat out there. And please don't go into credit to her debt. It's, it's a problem. Okay? So these are my three mains. But I finally, finally, finally ordered a Firefly tray. I don't remember which one I ordered. I do not know. But then... They're going to take 3 to 12 weeks, I guess, to get here or something. I don't remember what the website said. I just placed the order just because I am honestly utterly and completely amazed that I still have this stopper on my favorite tray. And this stopper. Well, these are not so hard because these kind of like, you have to fight to get them out. But this, this stopper, I don't know how I kept this all this time. And I still have the free backup stopper they sent me in the packaging. And I ordered this in like August of September of last year, so almost a year, and I've not lost this. It's an amazing little um, concept. I thought for sure it'd be gone by now. But on the Firefly tray, I guess it's like a lever right here that opens and closes a, a, like a valve in the spout. And it has a place for your trash, a place to hold your pen. I ain't worried about all that bells and whistle. I'm looking at, they finally got me looking because there's a a trap door. Now, am I worried that the walls are not going to be high enough to make me happy? Because I don't know if you can tell right here that even on this Max XL tray, the Nix's Notion Tallboy is still taller. And like when I use one of these, this, this, I, I just really, I am messy. I hate picking up drills. So, I like the high sides. And, whereas these are similar, this one's still taller. Um, it, it got, I have better walls. So, I did not order the Firefly tray in 17,000 colors. I ordered one. And this time I got smart and I ordered it in black. And why did I order it in black? I ordered it in black because my favorite diamond painting pen that I use for almost everything is black and copper. Or bronzer. What is that? Is that copper? It's copper, isn't it? I'm pretty sure that's copper. So, if I know that this is the one I'm going to reach for all the time, it never matches any of my trays. None of them. Because when I first started, I was like, ooh, my favorite color's pink. Ooh, my favorite color's pink. Or, I would get them that, you know, just came with the kit. Or whatnot. And I stuck in a theme because those were my favorite colors. But these don't look pretty together in a picture. <laughs> and whereas I am not a huge Instagram person, I'm, I don't, I'm not putting up posts, I do kind of have a wish I had stuff that match. So I am considering finally upgrading this guy and getting a black one of this. Or a copper, you know, something that would blend with this. You took that away. I bet Art Danny Coles. So I am considering getting a black one of this. Um, if I want to, I better get on it. September and October are no buys months for me. Um, but I do have a black firefly tray coming. I am worried about the sidewalls. If I'm going to hate the sidewalls of the firefly. I think I'm going to love the trapdoor. But hate the sidewalls. And I can tell from how I diamond paint. That the sidewalls. And the way the drills align. Those are my top two concerns. 
the, this part, the stomp, a lid, all of that is secondary to me. The sidewall height and how well are my drills going to align? How much am I going to have to fight it? And how much am I spilling the dang thing? That is what's going to matter to me. So it's very, very possible that I'm going to get that firefly tray and be like, mm, love it. Or I could be like, get this thing out of here and it's going to go over to the, the tray graveyard to die. You know, it's possible. One of these days I might start doing tray giveaways for the ones I just don't use. We'll see. Um, but I like having a variety to actually use for videos and to show you guys different things. So I don't know. But I would like it to go on record that this is not the only box of trays in this house. Um, but I, I stopped buying them fairly early on. I would say within five months into my diamond painting journey, I realized that for me, I'm not saying this is for you. I'm saying for me, I was throwing money away on trays that I wasn't using. So I stopped. It does not bother me to use the same tray for every diamond painting. Um, I have decided, you know, like I said, I'm going to order a black one. So everything is a little bit more uniform since I should be doing my social media more because I have the YouTube channel. And um, my daughter and best friend are yelling at me because I am not keeping that up like I'm supposed to. Um, but... I just don't think about it. I'm not a social media person. I don't do social media for myself personally. Like, I have them, but I couldn't tell you the last time I was on there unless my mom sent me something on Messenger. Um, I just don't use them because I got really tired of all the negativity I was seeing on social media, so I, I, I eliminated it from my life. Um, not completely. Like, I'll still go on and check in on people, but... For the most part, I do not scroll through those because, um, A, I don't want to, I don't want all that negativity coming into my life. Um, I work really hard to keep my life um, upbeat and positive, and I, I'm not letting people uh, rent space in my head uh, from zero dollars. It ain't happening. And then I also, being somewhat neurodivergent, have a problem with what they call doom scrolling. So I have to be very careful with like reels and stories and YouTube shorts and TikTok because I will fall down the rabbit hole and then I won't come up for two days. So I, I I just tend to not participate in social media as much as the average person. That's just a personal preference. So for me, having all this Michi Machi um staging these photos to look so cute was not a priority. Now now that I have um Companies uh, reaching out to me, asking me um, to help do stuff for them and be affiliates and me, you know, um, applying to be affiliates. Um, I am understanding that I, this might not be the best combination to have with every um, kit I'm doing. So I am going to start just buying more neutrals. This is black and copper. And if I got black trays of the ones I like to go with that, it would be neutral to go with it to go. And if you see this pin... Almost anybody who watches the channel would recognize this pin and know, hey, that's Summer's pin. And I've decided to go with that and sticking with the very neutral accessories as my aesthetic instead of matching the trays and the pins to the canvases and using that aesthetic. That is done by a ton of people and awesome to them, but I am not willing to spend all the money that that would cost to do that, I would rather spend that money on diamond paintings themselves, or more storage, or um, finding more solutions for you guys, uh, upgrading my video quality, upgrading my sound quality. I would rather spend that money elsewhere instead of continuing to have boxes of tray doom. I have a tray of trays. Y'all like that? So, that is the first thing. The second thing I told you I would upgrade is drill pins. If you will hold, I will go get that set of stuff right over here and we will go into that segment. Okay, so if you're ordering a budget kit, we talked about that these would be your most standard, these little pink, no sparkle, single brass tip placer, normally it's a thick 
plastic multiplacers. These are your standard, what you're going to see come in with those. Now, these will work. I strongly suggest you invest in squishies if you're going to use those. But this is your level one, basically. Now, as you buy more diamond painting kits, you're going to end up with a whole bunch of these. Like this one is a white one, had a red uh, squishy. Uh, the white one here has sparkles in it. I'm not sure if you can see that. Um, but it came with, um, like, these have thin, four plas thin plastic four placers on it. So those I want. Um, and then they normally come with squishies. Let's see, do I have one with a squishy on it? Yeah, like this one. Now, I know what you're thinking. Summer, why do you have this big box of um, drill pins? Well, I do try to keep an assortment of these around just in case. Um, because if I need it, for an example, for a video, blah, blah, blah. And also, the drill pins go in here, the cheap ones, until I have the time to take my tweezers and take off the single brass tip placer. Because these go, uh, come, once I pull them off, I put them in my um, multi-placer um, organizer. And then I have them for use in my premium pins and I don't have to purchase them because why throw it away if I would then just have to purchase it this does not make sense to me because your single tips do sometimes get dent messed up out of alignment shapes wrong and you need to replace them so I thought why 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 throw them away when it's the same thing okay also now let's talk about moving on from there your next affordable option is the Timu acrylic pen I paid a dollar ninety nine for this acrylic pen it only came with, I think, the single tip and then the fat, the fat plastic ones. But they, that was not a deal breaker to me. Um, I have a ton of the thin plastic ones. I have metal ones. I'm not worried about it. But this was $1.99 off Timu. Now, previously, I had ordered a three-pack. I don't know where that third one is. It has ran away from home all of a sudden. And I don't know what I have done with it. Oh, well. Just imagine it was a three-pack. Because <laughs> I don't know what I've done with it. Because I have a hot mess over here recording. So this game is a, uh, a three-pack from Amazon. And it was like a fuchsia color that was here. But it was three of them. Um, I think they came with a set of um, multiplacers. And it was less than $20. I would like it to go on record that when I'm looking at these, the Timu one is thicker from what I can tell. Um, and I actually prefer the Timu one to the um, ones I got off of Amazon in the three pack. But those are affordable options. Amazon, Timu. I know there's other cute ones you can get for seven, eight dollars on Amazon. There are options that are not gonna break the bank. Next up, if you're wanting to get fancy, uh, they have these pins like this you can buy on Etsy. Basically what they are is this kind of pin, but let me see. If you can look in there, you can see that the old pink pins are in there. And what they do is they wrap them, almost like they do the tumblers, and they do spin them. But you can get them customized, um, different designs, blah, 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 blah. Like, I got this one that says my name, and it's leopard print, because I love leopard print. And this bad boy, I think, was 12 to $15 off Etsy. Um, I don't reach for it a lot because now that I found my favorite pin, it just, it is what it is. But this was one of my first purchases when I got a little bit of shell shock. Okay. Next up on our expense category is this one. And this one, I believe, are both from Axe and Iron. Each one more expensive than this one. This one is super lightweight, just the four bumps. Um, I think this was in the $30 range. And this was one of my first purchases when I was first trying to see, is there a difference as we're leveling up? Was there a difference? And I said, mm, yeah, you're right. There's a difference. And then I got this. I saw this beautiful floral one. And I was like, oh, you bet. I got it. Because it has pink flowers in it. I'm going to be honest with you. I haven't used this one in months. She's pretty, but I don't reach for her. And then I saw this one. I thought, well, maybe I would like this one better on the shape. 
Um, and I love the colors in this one. Isn't that pretty? It's just, I think this is MK Custom Lathe Works. I think. I think that's who this is. I think the blank is just, the blank is gorgeous. Like, I love this side, but when you pop the hot pink, mm, it, it called to me. And then there's this one, which is probably, is she fat? She real fat. Like, I like the way this fits. And if you can see, this one is a lot narrower with a bump than this one is. So, but this one is trending my lefty's favorite. And I love the colors on this one. I love the turning, except this is too fat for me. And like this one, where it's the better size, it's, I don't, it's, nothing's catching my hand. I mean, I like it. And then I tried the uh, roll stop pin. Uh, this one has the flat side, so if you put your pin down, even if it rolls a little bit, it's going to stop and not roll anymore once it hits that flat side. I think this is peachy keen. And this is a breathtaking green, like, it's just, it's so pretty. I love it. I never use it, though. But it's closer to comfortable. But for me, the flat edge, the way I hold my pen, it, it created a problem. And then, I got this baby. Then my baby from the Norse Alchemist. And I love the turning style on this. For me, is perfection. Um, it is the most comfortable pen I have ever held in my life. And, um... I, I can diamond paint for literally four or five hours. My hand not fall asleep, and I do have carpal tunnel. And I do tend to, uh, my hands fall asleep doing other things. But this is so comfortable, it no happen. It no happen. Love this one. If anyone knows what this turning style, if it has a name, could someone please tell me? Because I'm on a hunt for this turning style again. Where it's kind of like the little triangular, the, it's, you see it's more triangular than round. Um, so that has a name. I would like to know. It. So those are your drill pins. Oh, and then specialty drill pin isk uh, adjacent. This is what they call a pretty placer. This is smell good stuff. It's called uh, this one's holiday punch. Smells good. But what this is used for is for special drills or ABs. This is basically a wax crayon, but it's specifically designed to pick up drills and place drills. Um, and I got this on Etsy. It wasn't very much. Maybe like ten dollars ish. And and this comes in handy when I'm doing like smashing the specials or anything like that. Now, what else I would consider drill pin adjacent but elective is I tend to keep a Dollar Tree toothbrush. Like this thing is so generic, you don't say nothing on it. Um in with my uh pins and drill pins and all that right there where I'm diamond painting. So in case something gets on my drills on my canvas, I could buff it off with this soft bristled brush. There's that. Oh, I forgot the other brush I was going to show you. Um, I got it. I got it. So this is the Dreamer, Dream Dreamer Designs brush. This is my most favorite little thing that I did never knew I always wanted. <laughs> This little brush is amazing because you can get your drills that are sticking out of your thing if that's happening. And also this cute little hand side over here that gets into crevices. It's awesome. I use it for more things than just diamond painting. Just saying. But that is pin adjacent because of the shape I'm calling it. Uh, next up is how you're going to cut your plastic off. Now... If you already have them in the house, you have scissors. You can use scissors to cut your plastic or whatever you want to do there. Uh, this, this is what I'm calling like drill pin adjacent because they're all in like cups on the top uh, rack of my um, diamond painting cart. Um, and then next up is this is a, uh, a blade from Dollar Tree. Um, and it came with a couple extra blades, but it screws off. It screws up. I, I paint a lot. Can you tell? Um, so this one I got at Dollar Tree. Um, it was super simple, super cheap, and it's super sharp. And I don't know where my blade cover went. And so um, let's hope I don't hurt myself on that today. Next up is this guy. This is yet another uh, blade. 
This is the Excel USA brand. I don't know where I got this. Probably Amazon knowing me. And then at this end, this comes out. I don't know why. I don't know why that unscrews. But it comes to the cover. I got it on Amazon. I just put in, um, oh my gosh, craft blade and got that. And then the most standard that you're going to see on diamond painting content channels is the ceramic pin cutter. Now, this is a very small ceramic, almost like a little bitty noob. Let me see if I can show you. Can you focus on it? Hold on. We're going, we're trying to go down. Right there. See a little bitty white nub? That is the ceramic blade. See, it's tiny. And um, it's not going to cut me. Uh, it's not going to cut your kids. It's not going to cut your grandbabies. It's not going to cut your dog. not going to cut your cat. Um, if you push too hard, it will, it will, it will cut your canvas. FI. Not like separate it, but it will leave um, a cut mark in your canvas. Uh, but this does go through um, washi, whiteboard tape, um, the plastic stuff that you, the covers, uh, fairly well. I got a three pack of these for like 10 bucks on Amazon. Um, I use these all the time. This is my preferred method. Uh, the other day when I was in the shop video, I did use scissors because I would not have that if I was a brand new diamond painter. And, and this set, <laughs> it set. Isn't it amazing that once you have tools that make something easier or more pleasant or streamlined, simplifies, or adds joy to the process, how hard it is to not use them? Because that's what I experienced when I filmed shop class. So, hold on, let's go for our next thing. Hello, welcome back to Adhesive Crazy. Okay, so... <laughs> There, there's all kinds of different stuff here. So, they have different colors of wax that come in these little squares that, you know, different shapes. So, you have purple, there's blue, there's yellow, there's different shades of pink and red. Um, these are your most generic, right? These, this, this is just what you get. Um, the blue right here, I think that is from Diamond Painting Shop. Um, normally, you're, I think that's, I don't know who that's from. Um, the pinks and reds are your most standard. Okay. Then, that's not that. So, this is the Dreamer Dots one that I just used in uh, the shop lesson. So, as you can see, used. That's how much I use for a partial. I did switch stuff halfway through and dip fresh wax because I wanted to only use this wax. I ain't mad at it. Craftably, you can tell I've used this one. Uh, was not real loving that. I actually liked the Dreamer Designs better than the Craftably wax, but they're really, really similar. I'm just saying. I think um, making myself use this and not reverting to my normal was part of the problem. Then there's this one, which is the blue wax, but it's a brighter blue. I'm more opaque as, as opposed to transparent. Same as this one. Dreamer Designs gives you purple wax. And this is the uh, Diamond Art Club pink heart wax in the caddy. Okay. So those are what you're going to just get standard in your kits. Now let's talk about upgrades. Now. Your... Least expensive way to go about this if you're wanting to try putty and glue dots is this right here. I got both of these at the Dollar Tree. These are regular size glue dots. You do have to cut them down. They are too big as is to go into your single tip placer. Um, they probably would fit real well in a multi placer, but you'd have to cut these down considerably to fit in your single tip placer. But I got... 36 dots, which I thought would be cut into four, which I don't even want to do that math. Four times six is 24. Four times three is 100. So at 144, 
if my math is right, uh, applications for my single placer on this package for $1.25. I wasn't mad at it to try. It does work. It's just, for me, not a lot of fun. Okay. Then this is the poster tack or putty uh, from the Dollar Tree. Um, looks like that. This, you have to be a little bit careful because um, when I first tried it, it did not leave blue residue, but on other drills, it did leave uh, blue residue. And then I did not like this with my AB drills at all. Okay. Now, then you have your Quake Hold Museum Putty, which is basically what all this putty is that everyone's using and making smell good is this stuff that they add scent and color to put it through the pasta thing on their KitchenAid or whatever, and they make you smell good. This was like $5 on Amazon. It works just the same. Um, there's that option for your putty. This is my new favorite, the Edison R&D Mounting Putty. I got this for really inexpensive on um, Amazon. I think it's like $7 for... I could probably know. Oh, 96 times 3. So a little less than 300 pieces. When they talk about pieces, this is perforated. I showed you. See, it's perforated. And um, one of these is about two uh, fills for my 7 placer. So I will not have to buy Petty for a very long time with this. And this is my current go-to. Now, that's not Petty. That's not Petty. Oh, then I bought this from Nix's Notion because I thought the bottle was cute. And when they told me it was Love Spell, um, my 1990s teenage heart went crazy, and it smells like Love Spell, like for real. But I did not like the texture. It's a little too wet for me. I did not like that. Um, so I have hardly ever used it, but it's cute. That's a cute bottle, and it smells good. Um, this is not putty. Okay, so then these are some of the Randas. Crafty Corner, like this is Orange Sickle, this is Mango Madness, this is Strawberry Mimosa, and they smell good. You ooch. They smell good, but it's literally just the putty with scent added to it. Okay, that, that, is, that is what you're getting. And this was $5, and these are like more expensive. But if you want to smell good pretty stuff, go ahead. And now there's the Mary Lad. She's got it. There's other uh, Jenny, the Uncrafty Crafter has online. And so there's that. But there's lots of option, options. Just go on Etsy or do a Google search and you'll find Putty. Okay. Now let's talk about wax. A lot of times if you order, especially like from Orlo and stuff, they'll send you these little I don't even know. Some of the diamond painting shops, they work together. And like, so this is a Sample wax that's uh, kicking cocoa. I don't even know what company it's from, though. They don't tell me what company it's from. But it's good stuff. But it's like a little lion shape uh, sample wax. But I haven't used it because um, I would. that's, to me, a fall-winter scent. And I forgot I had it. <laughs> so there's that. Then I had bought the Patty Wax Super Sticky in the tin. I, I don't use it. Then, um, because I watch so much um, of the other content creators are talking about the Poly Juice Potion and the Tutti Fruity. Yes, these smell phenomenal, but I don't use them. I tried using them. They're just not my thing. They don't work well for me. Um, but they smell fabulous. And then I tried... Randa's Crafty. This is Chocolate Mint. Randa's Crafty Corner. I forgot that last word. This one is Autumn Wreath. And, um, don't use them. What I use in my single tip blazer is the mini dots. Now, a lot of people are like, oh, oh, micro dot, micro dot, micro dot. No, no, no. For me, I have to stick multiple micro dots into my single tip. And I don't have to put one and shove it in. On the mini dots. So I much prefer the mini dots. 3 16th of an inch. Or 5 millimeters. It's my happy place. So. 
You will almost always. To the point where I don't always say what's in my pen. We'll find this in my favorite baby. Where my favorite baby? Not my favorite baby. These will be in there. And I'll be using this tray. To the point where I have stopped announcing it during whipping chats. Because that is what is going to be in there. Now, but that, that's what it's going to be. And if it has a predominant color, like a big color, like where I don't want to keep switching out, that boy is going to be in there. And that is what you're going to find on my desk the most often. Okay. What else are you going to find on my desk? The four and seven. Do I not have a seven right here? Yep. The four and seven thin placers. Now, this is a six. Thick placer. Oh, this stuff is too much. Get away. You're gonna don't mess me up. Ready, set, whoop. Gotta let it focus. So, this is the thin seven placer. Next to, gosh darn, these are real hard to hold, you guys. I don't know if you can see that this one is much thinner than this one. Um, it makes alignments for me much better with the thin one than the fat one. Um, they Some people call this the thick plastic one. What did I just get on my hand from digging in all that putty? Ew. Um, so I just mean I like it. this one. I feel like my drills are going all over the place. I have better control with the thin one. It makes me happy. Um, you can also invest in the four. Or not the four. In the metal ones. The shiny one. This is the... Uh, what I got from Diamond Art Club, I got this set, which is more like a, a brush metal um, from Amazon. I actually prefer this one to this one. And I, it's not that noticeable, but there's a slight variation in the way that the lip going into where you put the putty is, where I like this one better than that one. And it took me a long time to realize why. Okay. Oh, please, let me get our next set of stuff. Before I move on, I had told you about my um, multi-placer storage organizer. This is it. I told you I pulled the single tips off the cheap end. They go in there. But this is all my single tips, even my nice metal ones. Um, I will say this. Where is it at? Okay. This is what they call a single tip square. And this is a single tip round. I don't notice a difference at all. The shape in here is square. The shape in here is round. They both were the same. Don't be fooled. And so I just have them in here by size. Going up. It goes like this. And then over here is my straighteners. Like I have my itty bitty straightener. Look at that little baby. Up to the bigger straighteners. I have my metal straightener here. This is that. Oh, that would probably be good to show you how that works. And I throw things. So that when I said the, diff, the different metals from those two sets. Okay, you're too busy, gather way. Do you see the difference? This was my, I think, my Diamond Art Club one. This was the Amazon one or vice versa. I can't remember. It's been so long. But I like the placers from this kit better. But I have this place or this straightener on. Don't ask me why. Don't ask me why. It's just the way it goes. Okay, let's talk cover reminders. I cannot find all of them. I don't know where they all went. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. Like, I'm real mad because, like, where are my Christmas cow? Where are my Christmas cow? I can't find him. Okay, so you have your little standard diamond art club cover reminders here. These are what you're going to get from most of the premium companies who included a, a uh, cover reminder in their kit. This little boy just wants to be with that one so bad. But you're going to get just little things like that. Uh, these are like diamond art club specials, what I call them. Um, Y'all can... In that box, so hopefully I don't lose that set. Because <laughs> my last set I showed you has gone missing. That means when we were putting them away, I don't know where they went. 
So then there's this giant snowflake. Um, I'm not sure where I got that. No idea where this came from. This might have came from, I don't know. I, probably, I don't think I would have ordered this, so it probably came free in some diamond, art, some diamond kit. This is one I got from uh, Pam's Diamond Paintings. Um, I really like this one a lot. Um, this one is from this one, this one, and I think this one, all three, are from uh, Siobhan. Siobhan, combined by Siobhan. But I have some from Patty Wax, and I cannot find them. And I really like them. But they're like the thin plastic. Um, like I have the square one. I don't know what it says anymore. Oh, it's my Star Wars one. I just use it for my Star Wars diamond painting. So it's the Star Wars on the, the square white plastic. I have the cow with the uh, leopard print uh, Santa hat. But cover minders. But you can make your own cover minders. Um, Diamonds and Washi has a video on how she converted pins. Like the like the wear like the little like the the brooch type pins, uh, how she converted those to um, cover minders. This is my favorite. This is really my favorite of all time. It's just awesome. But I have a different idea that we're gonna try soon. So I think that video will be up in August or September. It I I, I need to do more test runs before we film that because there's been some <laughs> happening in that one. Now, I want to have it down before I show you, and so you don't make your house stink like I made my house stink again. So, that's it for cover reminders. You don't need a cover reminder. I'm just saying you don't need a cover reminder. And if you wanted to, <laughs> oh, please, of course, everything's on this. You can take yourself down to the Dollar Tree. And by this little thing, and this is six, 12 magnets. I think there is another six, or more than one set, because I have attached these. So you get two magnets, you super glue or E6000, one of them to whatever your heart decides. Say you want to turn this tape measure into a cover reminder, you would glue this onto here, let it set, and then this one I just attach, and then you could attach that, no problem. So. For dollar twenty-five, you can turn dang near anything into a cover minder. That back I'll be mad when I can't find it. Okay, moving. Oh, and if we're talking about my go-to's. This is the cover minder that is almost always on my um, canvas because it makes me happy. Let's talk about some sectioning tape. Ugh. I have a washi problem. I would like it to go on record that I am a happy planner and was a happy planner long before I learned about what diamond painting was and if I wanted to do it because I knew what it was from the pandemic uh, but um, said no. And so I, I was late to the game on that. But, <laughs> but um, not to the washi thing. So I have a ton of washi. I have a ton of washi from different sources. Um, pretty sure that's Diamond Art Club. I'm pretty sure that's Diamond Painting Shop. Uh, I bought that somewhere. That was probably Michael's. This is Jada Gym Shop. Let me pull this out because this is slightly different. Oh, this is Dollar Tree. Um, I, I forgot there was a... Chimacallit. Whatchamacallit. Uh, palm, uh, bumblebees on that one. That's why I bought it for Trinity. So, I have tons of washi. I have glitter washi. I have floral washi. I have polka dot washi. I have... I have a lot of washi. You want shiny washi? I have shiny washi. I have tons of washi. I don't reach for this for sectioning. I don't. I don't do it. I've spent... Do I use this for... Uh, other crafts, yes, ma'am, or sir, if there's a gentleman watching this. Uh, but this um, actually one right here, it lives on my desk because this is normally the one I use to wrap around my multi-placers like this. If 
this isn't, oh, I am not focused. Yet this doesn't want to fit in my uh, pin. So that's the one I've been using that because it just tears real easy. But I do not have a shortage of washi. I just got this one from um, Pam's Diamond Painting and I'm really loving it. And this side got some gold foil. And I also just got a shipping notification that my Pam's Diamond Painting are on the way. I thought that one's pretty. I think this is Diamond Art Club or Diamond Painting Shop or somebody. But look at this pretty. Isn't that pretty? That's so me. But I've used so much of it, there's hardly any left. Hmm. Said Panda. I love this one too. I think this is the Scotch brand. Yeah, this is the Scotch brand washi. And it's like postage stamps. Travel esque. So I have all the washi from all the places Amazon, Michaels, Hobby Lobby, Diamond Art Club, Diamond Painting Shop, Pam's, JJ Gym Shop. That one's over here. Um, I, the only place I haven't ordered washi from, like to check on it, because I was going to check the quality for you guys, is Timu. So expect a haul from that soon. Um, but that is my oh yeah, washi tape. I'm going to use washi tape. I had found a set of these, there were six of them, in my um, stationery drawer in my craft room. That these used, I had bought these, this is whiteboard tape. Uh, because I used to have a giant, we're talking giant, uh, probably four feet by three feet whiteboard when my kids were at home. Um, to help me figure out what the hell was going on in my life. And I used this to section off different categories and whatnot. Well... I said, I like this tape. I've used this in my planner before because I wanted just solid black. And um, so I tried to section with this. Oh my gosh, this is so much better for me. It sticks to my plastic better. I love it. I love it so much, even though I wasn't quite out. Honestly, I thought that I didn't know I had this one. I thought I was down to this. Um, so I went over to Amazon and I bought this set. And it's in one of my Amazon hauls videos. Uh, there was five of those. I'm like, indies. so, and it's like 300 and something yards for each one. It's a lot. They're bigger rolls. Look, I can wear them as bracelets. Um, and I use this to prep my canvas in section almost, almost exclusively. It's, it's so much better for me. Like, let me see if I can show you. Let me see if I can show you what I'm talking about. This is a piece, a section I had just cut off of the canvas I'm working on now. Now, the plastic's rolling up, but do you see how well everything is stuck to the plastic? How it's not rolling up off the plastic? I like it a lot. I like it so much better for me. Now, I also like the fact that I can have this one set and match almost any canvas, or at least be neutral. Where's the white? I have a white one too. It's around here somewhere. Um, so if I don't want the the prep, the side, to uh, be noticeable, I could make it white. So it would just go away. Where did the white go? Okay, well there's a roll of white somewhere. Um, I know Trini was using it. I didn't know what she was using it for, but she asked for it. I let her borrow it and did not return. Isn't that the way it goes? But whiteboard tape, this is far, far uh, less expensive in the grand scheme of things. This entire kit was like $15. And like literally every roll plus the white one is like 355 yards, I think. So I, that, that's a lot of feet. That's a lot of feet. Um, so this stuff needs to go up here because it's on my cart. It's constantly in my cart. Okay, what else can we talk about? Where'd it go? Okay. There are a ton of options like this. This is what you call a drill grinder. So when your drills are all stuck to each other, you can go like this. I got this one off Amazon. Zero out of ten. Do not recommend. Just saying. What actually works out better for me is I use two of these little bitty cheap boats. I put some in the bottom of that. I put this on top of it and I go and I squeeze the living daylights out of it and they pop apart normally. And I do them in sections. 
this, 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 this ain't it. Now, there are 3D printed ones you can get from different uh, trade companies. Then we have uh, this boy. This is a silicone funnel. I hate him with every fiber of my being. <laughs> I don't know where mine is because uh, my crafting area is a hot mess. Um, if you have any static and you're using one of these, you are going to have a hard time. You are going to have a hard, hard time. It is not fun. I don't want to play with it. Uh, no. No. I do what you. I really need to reorganize. I will tell you this. Doing these diamond painting summer school uh, classes... Has made me drag everything I basically own out to show you different things and it has made an entire disaster of all my stuff and so now I'm gonna have to do a huge cleaning thing I would strongly recommend even though I can't find it taking your little self down to the Dollar Tree and getting the little plastic smooth sided funnels um, if you could go to any of my getting up videos I don't care if it's red if it's white you just want small a lot of times they come in a three pack. That smallest one in a three pack works great. And then uh, if you're not sure what you're going to do about it, you can also give those other two bigger funnels to your husband or your partner or your whoever who does your oil changes. And you can do the other two, just leave them in the car. So if you need to add oil to your car, if you put them in a ziplock, zip, zip, put it in the trunk of your car. Um, if you need to add oil on the go, you have a funnel and you're not having to use one of those paper things that make my life miserable. Just speaking from experience. <laughs> okay. I got to pause you and we got to get set up for the next segment. Oh my goodness. I, everything's everywhere. Hold on. Okie dokie. Let's talk drill storage. Your cheapest way to store your drills? Plastic bag. But summer, but summer, how? How do I keep them organized? Well, you can do a system, something like this. I just have them in order. The smallest number in this kit is 300. And it goes all the way up, all the way through. And... I'm not high enough. Hold on. Oh, there we go. Drill storage, I need to be a little higher. So, maybe if I turn it this way. So, I have them in chronological order right here for now. But that is a way you could do your drill storage. You could also use dumb device. Ah, I eat something like this from the Dollar Tree and stack your drills up like this. Super simple. I think you get two for $1.25. So, like, literally, what is it? 60 something cents a piece. Uh, you can have two trays. I would let you like to let you know that on some of the bigger kits, uh, you need two of these for all of the drills. Just saying. Just saying. So this is your least expensive is with these and the Dollar Tree trays. Something like this little, uh, I'm trying to put the lid on it so I can show you from the bottom. It's just divided into eight squares. No idea where I got this acrylic box. I, I, it was in my jewelry stuff. And so I just snatched it out and, um, said gimme gimme so that's your most inexpensive right there and the least amount of work if they come in the bags already the little baggies already second option if you are using like a diamond dots kit or something like that just happened uh, these are no longer in order i did a uh i got two sets of the six bottles with the little lids um from dollar tree Put little uh, circular labels on top, and I put them in a Dollar Tree little basket for $1.25. So for $5 plus stickers, I did an 11 color uh, Diamond Dots kit, or a partial, or whatever. I'm thinking about doing something similar to this, maybe for the uh, special drills I want to keep. Because I don't keep all my special drills. I'll show you those in a minute. We ain't there yet. We ain't there yet. So there's that one. The next least expensive, let's go with this bad boy. Uh, this is the four cubes in a row that each opens individually. I think I got this for less than $5. Oh, and we said there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, there's 56 uh, squares in here. Um, I did the hedgehog parcel in here and had extras. Uh, the ones right here where you're seeing there's no sticker, it was the overflow for the one before it. And I just went like, it's just, but I had extras. Um, so this was less than five dollars on Timo. Um, everybody's tried and true is the Harbor Freight 
There's these, these are in the six to seven dollars range right now, but they have bigger boxes, which a lot of people like. Um, this is the salt water kit um, by Greta Lesky from uh, Distracted by Diamonds. It takes two. So, just say it takes two. Um, then you have the Tic Tac containers. Now, I have this intermingled of the small and large Tic Tac boxes. Uh, these range anywhere from $8 to $20, depending on where you buy them from. Um, this set was bought on Amazon. Um, I actually bought the little ones first, and then I ended up getting the bigger ones because I was not about just the little ones and having like seven little ones for the big ones. No. No, 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 no. Tic Tac boxes. Now, then I found this little set when I got two of them because I liked the size on this. So there's only 30 per, so that's 60. Right, like this. Um, but at the time, I didn't know I could get one. I'm going to show you in a minute. And um, so this is Colorful Me uh, by uh, DIY Moonshop. Is kitted up into this one. I got colors on that. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? Uh, but I liked the compact size of this a lot. I liked it a lot. Okay. Okay. And then recently on Timu, I got this 60 bottle. Uh, case. Um, there is no dividers. It's just, they're just free range in here. Um, and I paid $5.50 roughly for this bad boy. Um, yay. Uh, one of my other favorite budget options is the black squeezy cubes. Um, I got these on Amazon. I think they're $9.99 for these. It's 30, but they, you squeeze the sides, the pop comes off. Really good if you struggle with like the, the unscrew or the popping. These open super easy. These are very arthritis friendly. Um, they do have these in clear. I just bought them in black because uh, they were two dollars cheaper in black. So I ain't mad at black. I ain't mad at it. What is happening? Something is not aligned right. Now it is. Okay. So then I was also on Timo. I got. This black version of the $60, uh, it's a $60, the $60 bottle set, but it has the dividers in here, so it keeps them into sections of 12, so I could, you know, say I wanted to do two kits in this, I could pull out the other divisors and just leave the dividers in to show me where, okay, anything on the left is one kit, anything on the right is the other kit, or I can do a larger kit in this, not a big deal. I'm going to tell you this right now. These 60 bottle containers are the hardest things I have ever dealt with. Okay. Then we also have these um, little cases. Like this is 60 bottles. And this zippered thing. They're, they're smaller than the other ones. Yep. Slightly. Um, but So this is 60 bottles. They have these in all sizes from 30 all the way to like 420. I ain't, I ain't carrying around that kind of suitcase. It ain't happening. I got 120, and I'm like, that boy's big. But I needed that for my um, cross-stitch conversion. So, then this is that Forever One. Forever forever Young One. I got off Amazon. This boy was $20. It has the, it's the clear one like we talked earlier. But it has the dividers like the black one does. Um, and it came with, I would have bet you money I brought those over here. And now I can't find them. Where did I put them? I just had them in my hand. You dirty rotten devil. Oh, right there. I did have them in my hand. Uh, what I liked about this set, even though it was $19.99 and I could get it cheaper at Timu, was it came with a full set of DMC uh, stickers that shows the color with the number. I like that. Uh, that it came with that. And so there's that. Now let's get to Summer's all-time favorite storage. Which just seems to get pricey. As much as I love it, it gets pricey. Where's the lid to this? Mm, not sure. Not sure. Oh, probably over at my desk. Uh, I'll grab this one. I have more of these than I care to admit. Because the going price for the mixed one of... Uh, the mix sizes is uh, $29 now. There was a time last year that um, if you could find them where they were not sold out, you were paying $129. So 
So this has the lid, pops open like that. And you can mix and match your drill sizes. It comes with the mini, small, medium, large. And you can mix and match your stuff. Um, you can also buy sleeves of just the individual sizes. So I have bought sleeves of this size. I have bought sleeve of all four sizes of just. And depending on the sizes, how many can they come in a sleeve? Because it's only like a sleeve is one row. So on this one, it's three. On this one, I think it's, I don't know how many that would be, like four or five. And like eight on this one and like 11 or something on this one, whatever. Um, but they come in a little package. Um, and um, what I do on these is I have two large uh, tubs. I don't know if we call them tubs because they're about the size of this around, but they're taller. I have a tall one and a shorter one. I got a Dollar General. And um, I have them organized where this one and this size and this size and this size are in different tubs. So all of the empty ones of these two sizes are in one tub. All the empties of this size is in another. So it's easy to differentiate when I put my hand in to fill. Because if you put these in together, it's a bad time. And sometimes this is harder to, to when you're reaching in to grab is a bad time. So I have them where it's basically they're like less than half on each one. And um, that has seemed to be working quite well for me. Seems to be working quite well. Quite well, I tell you. Uh, these are my all-time favorite. They open easy. They store easy. They store flat. I can put the lid on them like this. And... I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have about ten of these trays. That's like three hundred dollars <laughs> plus the extra. That I should not have done that math. I should not have done that math. These are my favorite, but um, I have currently bought um, some more inexpensive storage because, um, like this one, I get to kit down. This kit's not finished, um, and there might be seven or eight other trays that um, have uh, they're kitted up in that the canvases are on hold, or I can't touch them yet, <laughs> or they're in the whip graveyard. <laughs> oh my goodness! So I have to make hard decisions come up this fall, and I don't want to. I don't want to, um, but. Like this one, this is um, Take a Fight by uh, Mari945 from Jade Gym Shop. I just need to get down. Um, so that is our, that's the, our storage electives. I think, I think, I have covered everything I can think of. And uh, never buy tweezers again because you're going to get tweezers. <laughs> tweezers. I have tweezers coming out my eyeballs. Out my eyeballs. I think that's it. I think uh, there's a brayer you can get they're like they're called rollers. I, I have one right here. Um, this is a little one. You can use this to push your help set your diamonds down. They come in plastic whatever uh, it, it's it's a thing. Uh, na, 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 na. Um, what would I say? I think that's it. Did I miss anything, guys? Did I miss anything? I of course did forget some things. Release paper. I forgot release paper because I very seldom use it. Uh, when I do tend to use it, I actually have a set of this two hundred sheets of diamond painting release paper. I paid fourteen nine nine for it from uh, Diamond Art Club. And I just use that if my, my hand is getting stuck, I just place it down to uh, keep my hand out of the sticky. Um, so there's that option. Now, Amazon has cheaper options over here. Um, quite a few, just type in release paper. And um, it's like this is different size in centimeters. Uh, I don't even know what size that one is. Uh, this 180 sheets, 200 sheets, 
100 pieces. So there are seven cents a piece here, six cents a piece here, six cents a piece here. Um, they do have some decorative ones over here. Um, but I mean, you have options on there. Okay. You can also search Etsy. But I'm going to tell you right now that if you're getting release paper, I strongly recommend Crafts with Crashly. She got the pretty papers. They're all decorative. Like, these are like driving pugs. Like, how cute is that? Driving pups. So it's little dogs and cars, and it, it's adorable. Um, I know she's teamed up with Mrs. Coffee and has some of Mrs. Coffee's artwork on um, her uh, release paper. And she just has various designs. Um, that's cute. Um, just different designs that you can get. And you can use these in lieu of the plastic cover. And I mean, like, she's got pages and pages of designs. And they're adorable. Like, hello, those are cute unicorns. And um, I ain't mad at it. I ain't mad at it. And we have cover minders in the release paper section. I'm not sure. Maybe because I'm shopping off. I like the diamond paint and money. Because you money leaving. <laughs> So there's tons and tons of different patterns to choose from with Crafts Crashly. And she is honestly who I would say to uh, go to if you're wanting to try um, release paper. Um, unless you're trying to do an affordable option, then I would say try Amazon. I don't know if Timu has any. Let's check. Let's uh, check it real quick. Don't look at my shopping cart on Timu. We talked about this. Um, I'm painting release paper. Ba -ba -ba. So yeah, you can get it as cheap as two dollars and eleven cents is what it's looking like. Um, that one's up to nine dollars and thirty-four. So there's something at dollar seventy-eight. So there is release paper on Timu if you want to check that out. So I, I I didn't want to forget it. I just don't use it, so I did forget it when I was filming over there. But I I, I remembered when I was editing. So there we go. I think that's it. I think it's it. Oh, I would also like to say, just in case. You happen to um, make a huge mistake. Oh, let me show you these two, too. If you happen to make a really bad mistake, and you have these, like, Cricut tools, and now they have these, like, this is so old, guys. Look at it. Look at it. It's so old. I've had this since, I think Trinity was five or six. She's 22. So it's been through it. These are really good at sh and getting large sections to drill off your, your canvas if you have put them down in the wrong spot. Um, these straighteners, what I like about these is I will put these along the edge of a canvas. And then I will uh, do it to have it straight line because it will like basically stick to the edge. And you just whoop, you just drill your drill pin. I'm like, oh, here it is. And you just line them up there and then you have a good straight outer edge. That's what these are good for, by the way. Um... These get things off. Okay, so novelty pins. This is a diamond painting pen. This is a diamond painting pen. Do you know how much I pref would have preferred if these were actually pins I could write with? Um, I don't use these. Number one, they're they're t they're he they're heavy, and you can only single place with them, and they're top heavy. Does that make sense? Uh, super cute. I would not mind having something like this in my um, planner, my log book, the log book. But to dive and paint with, <coughs> don't waste your money. Don't waste your money. You you're gonna regret it. Oh. Oh 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 oh. Everybody get out. Um, they have these little reusable pouches. In different sizes. In different colors. Um, if you like budget kits. They have these in the A3 size. Do you know what that means? That means you can put your uh, A3... An A3 it will hold a 30 by 40 diamond pin kit. Just so you know. These also 
are really nice for holding your where to go. Travel accessories, nice and neat. You got your pen, you got your tray, you got your cover minder, you got your tape, you got your putty. I don't have a wax in there, but I could easily toss one in there. I just put, grabbed what I had handy. And then this, if you're using a little bit of word storage, and it doesn't take the whole thing, fits really nicely in here. Just saying. It also fits nicely in the... Um, in here use everything contained not spelling out or if you're going like that um, and you're sticking it in a bag this is a lot easier to tote than um, I'm extra I'm extra and I just can't help it because I'm always afraid I'm going to break something or lose something so this is my travel set so I have all my multiplicers here on the top. And then I have a place for stuff in the bottom. Which, this is a large mini made, so that tells you how big this space is. Um, and that's how I traveled to Arizona this past Christmas with my diamond painting stuff. And I put the kit I took with, with me, um, my main kit I took with me was the Herbalist Helper. And I took that on an inflatable puzzle travel thing so I blew up this tube and um then put my canvas on the black felt rolled that up drills out along that stuck it in the bag it came with and it traveled beautifully beautifully um but that's that's it that is it for dumb painting summer school lesson eight electives oh another thing that's elective it's a tape measure or a ruler you don't need one you see all this uh on uh, content creators have it because we like to verify so we can make sure we're letting you know that the size is accurate or inaccurate whichever way it goes uh, and give you different dimensions so in case you're you're wanting to make sure it does measure true to size yeah uh, you know that i think that's it i think that's it i think that's it i think we're done i think i need a drink of my soda and to sit down so thank you so much if you hey look i'll use him if you've enjoyed this video, go ahead and boop my snoot. Boop, 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 my snoot. If you're new to the channel, that means like it. That is a quick, easy, and free way for you to support the channel. Makes me happy and go do a little dance. I ain't doing it on camera. We, no one needs to see that. Um, and uh, it just, it's awesome. And we, I really, really appreciate it. If you want to share this video with anybody, feel free to. I will not be mad at you at all. Also, if you want to comment a fish, any fish emoji at the bottom of this. I'm running out of emojis lately. Any fish at the bottom and let me know you made it to the end. That's also another way to support the channel. Let's me know, hey, this content's good. Uh, people are making it to the end. Woohoo. Um, I'm, I'm real sorry about how long the shop class was. I tried. I tried. And then, um, I'm, oh, yeah. If you haven't already, go ahead and uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel. We're, I don't know how many subscribers we're at. I, I forgot to look. Um, but we are aiming for a 500 subscriber uh, goal. When we get there, there will be another giveaway. Um, I appreciate everybody that has subscribed and has used my affiliate links, you guys. Uh, that Timu haul that you, uh, I don't know what day that's going out. You might have already seen or you'll be seeing soon. Um, that was fully funded by um, you guys um, for using those affiliate links. So, <laughs> gracias. I appreciate you. And there will be some videos coming up. Uh, that I'm asking you guys to help me choose my canvases for August because I, I'm I'm in decision paralysis over here and can't make up my mind for nothing. So uh, be on the lookout for that. I'm going to need help picking out a Cheryl Baker and a uh, Mika uh, Jelena. So that's coming up. And I think that's it. I think that's it. I'm going to shut up. I'm going to just shut up. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Like always, love each and every one of you. You're awesome. You're awesome. You're awesome. And, um, other than that, until next time, I love y'all. Bye-bye.